rhyme or reason to, you know, why some of this does this, and you know, this little set of houses decided that it was necessary to be part of that. But uh, this is the overall map. Uh, this is the Kettering area. This is Oakwood up here. Moraine as it comes down. It's Moraine over here. Um, this large line through here is 75, and this is 675 over here with uh, uh, Washington Township here and Miami Township over there. The majority of you probably heard it last month when you were uh, here. Um, but I will introduce myself. I'm Steve Byington. Uh, I'm running for the 37th district. Uh, I'm currently the vice mayor of, of the city of Oakwood. Uh, I've been in local politics for uh, roughly about five or six years. Uh, vice mayor of the last couple years, um, city council, planning commission, a lot of different uh, uh, positions here in the city, as well as on various different commissions and, and boards throughout the region. Uh, local government is where my, my heart is. I, I love this particular area. Uh, I love fighting for the folks that live in this area. They're my neighbors. You know, they're the folks that, that come up to me in the, in the grocery store, and they're the ones who you know, ask me questions about sugar camp or whatever the different issue of the day might be. Uh, and you know, those, those tend to be issues which are you know, very near and dear to people's hearts, and you know, they're, they're, they become very emotional about it, and they, they become very um, interested in it. And I think we are getting at a point now, well, I think we were actually really there now, is where even at the state and federal level, you know, things have become very volatile. You know, when you ask somebody about something, um, they they take a very hard line stance one way or the other. You know, things aren't working here or things aren't working there. Uh, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. One of the reasons I decided to run was exactly what John was talking about. Is I, I think that that uh, our state legislators uh, have stopped working. They just really have 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 seen the problems that are facing our state and don't have any fresh ideas, don't have any ways of, of taking on some of these problems. And for them, then it becomes easier just to sort of focus on other things. You know, they, they take on small issues here or there. Um, I'm actually one of those political geeks who, who tends to be on the internet a lot and, and looks through the the uh, legislative things that are going on at the state house, and you know, you look at some of the bills that are going through. You know, deciding what our our state amphibian is going to be, and, and things like that. And I'm, I'm just wondering what it is that the folks at, at the state level are thinking about. And I think what they're thinking about is they don't want to have to make any difficult decisions. Uh, and that's really what it comes down to. As John was mentioning, we 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 have issues with revenue and with with our our tax rates. Uh, these are things that are not going to go away. I mean, people want to say, well, we're going to start working towards, you know, uh, increasing education funding, we're going to start working towards this, but all these things are not going to go away. And the only way that we're going to make things positively happen is by <coughs> collaborating, is by bringing the folks together who, for the longest time, just have not wanted to work together uh, and actually start getting something done. Um, in my position as, as Vice Mayor of Oakwood, I, I go to a lot of meetings and I spend a lot of time with people who are in elected positions as well as appointed positions. And to me, it's, it's very frustrating that even these folks have, have lost their faith in government. They have, you know, you get folks together and, and they'll start complaining that, you know, nothing's gonna happen and nothing's gonna work this way or nothing's gonna work that way, um, you know, and, and that, to me, is very disheartening. Uh, and I think that really what it's going to take is, is people, uh, particularly on the Democratic side right now, to, to say that we're going to start putting aside some of our differences uh, and we're going to start working towards these solutions. They're not going to be perfect solutions. They're not going to, they're not going to make you know, the other side happy. And a lot of times, they're not going to make our own side happy. Uh, but they're going to be things that we need to do as a state to make sure that we can bring prosperity back to this region. I mean, that we can bring work back in, that we can bring education that is actually funded, that is something that, that can be sustainable. Sustainability is, to me, probably the, you know, the, the key word of my campaign, is we need government that can sustain their leadership ability, that they can not just sort of pick and choose the issue that they, they think is the most important one of that day, they need to make hard decisions which are not going to make them popular, which are going to be constantly you know, questioned. But that's what leadership is about, is your ability to do the things that your neighbors, your friends, your family, your local area, the things that need to happen. Um, and that's 
know, in a long nutshell. That's why I'm running, is because I think that through my, my experience in local government, I've developed that ability to sort of form coalitions amongst folks who don't always agree with each other, and get them together to talk and say, you know, what is it that we could possibly do? It's not gonna be a perfect solution, but it's gonna be a solution. It's gonna be at least moving in the right direction. Um, <coughs> as I mentioned before, uh, last, last time I was here, I've got, I got three focal points, and I, I try to hit them every time I, I talk. Uh, first of them is, is job creation, and we need job creation that isn't just about you know, talking about we're going to bring this industry in or that industry in. We really need to look at everything from the actual job itself to the education that, that goes into getting that person uh, qualified for that particular job, and also looking at all the regulations and things, tax uh, rates that are that apply to that particular business and what we can do to con you know, make sure that these jobs are sustainable for a long period of time. Um, and that also is gonna take people getting together, Democrats, Republicans, you know, unions, uh, uh, labor, all these folks are gonna need to get together and work towards a solution that works for everybody. Um, education, as John was mentioning, we, we have, um, the Strickland plan, I think, is one that's very good. It's moving in the right direction. Uh, it's very important that we make sure that that plan doesn't necessarily have some un, uh, uh, unmandated or um, unfunded mandates. Um, but I think that that's something that if we look at the long term, we bring in people who are experts in these different areas, particularly uh, education administration, uh, and look for some efficiencies, I think we can actually do something towards education. Uh, and then last of all is just government itself. Uh, I'm, I'm frustrated with everybody's frustration with government. Um, I, I truly believe that this is the best system in the world. It works, I know it works. The problem is that we have the obstructionists, those folks who are just, they're more comfortable just saying, I don't know what to do, it's too big a problem, you know, let somebody else deal with it. I only have to be here for this, this term or the next term, and I, you know, I'll get elected again. Uh, as I mentioned the last time I was here, I'm an architect by trade. I like what I do. I enjoy designing. I love working with people to construct things. Um, so I'm not looking to go to Columbus to make friends. I'm I'm there to get something done. I want to get uh, positive change happening there. I want to make sure that. Uh, work is getting done and that people can hold their elected officials accountable to uh, to actually working for them. Um, I told my campaign manager I was going to go long again.